What's going on, YouTube? It's your boy, Jeremy Wormy, and I'm talking Godzilla minus one. That's right. A fan freaking tastic movie. Got uh, this. We're doing this right here. We're starting right here. Godzilla minus one review. The best Godzilla movie in years. Legitimately so. I have to say this is up there as one of my personal favorite movies of this year. And out of all the Godzilla movies, it's it's a close second. It's between this or Final Wars. I love Final Wars. Listen, I love Final Wars, but this is a phenomenal movie. This is a beautiful movie. This is an awesome movie. And this movie is also breaking records here in the States. Legitimately here in the States. A foreign movie is breaking records here in the States. Now, you might be sitting there and asking yourself, what kind of records could this movie be breaking here in the States? Like, what's going on with this movie and stuff? Well, you come over here to Kaiju News Outlet on Twitter. Godzilla Minus One made history again on Monday as it grossed $1.23 in the U.S. and claimed the number one spot at the box office, which is the first time time the first time that a non-english live action film has accomplished such a feat in 19 years that's right 19 years ladies and gentlemen and boys and girls and everybody else that might be watching this movie this movie is breaking records this movie is phenomenal and it goes to tell you that it when you make a movie for the fans fans are going to come out and support it this movie, I, can't, I cannot stress how beautiful this movie is. It it does everything right. Godzilla is terrifying in the right way. I know a lot, I know a lot of people like Godzilla being a hero and everything like that. But also Godzilla is a terrifying beast and they do it just right in this movie. On top of that, this movie was actually originally going to leave the U.S. as a box office run today, honestly. And it wasn't until late, not late Tuesday that it got extended in the U S it's having an extended theatrical run, which is good considering when you actually look at its numbers, everything it's making now is pure profit on a movie that costs $15 million to make right now. It's sitting at above even it is making money. And on top of that, we're going to go back to that, a uh, whole baking, breaking uh, box office numbers. Look at this Godzilla minus one. This is the uh, domestic week. Uh, of December 4th. So this is this week. This is the m movies and the top uh, top 10 we're going to go with. Well, we're going to start off with the top five because that's what's shocking here. Godzilla minus one is at number one at the box office. This is an international film. This is beating out the Hunger Games Battle of Songbirds and Snake. Now, Songbirds and Snake did relatively well, you know, all things considered. I didn't know this movie. I think it might break even, do a little bit better than break even. Who knows as of right now, but it's still holding strong. But then you look at number three is also a foreign uh, movie being Animal. I don't know where this movie is actually coming from. Um, Makasha movies, I, maybe some Indian flick, Hindi flick. Hindi movies are doing fantastic as well. Then you got Napoleon. You got Shift. An independent movie from Angel Studios is number five at the box office right now. Then you start scrolling down. You get Wish. Trolls Band Together, Saltburn, Silent Night, and Thanksgiving. All things considered, the movie that is number one is Godzilla. Godzilla is breaking records. Godzilla has massive word of mouth going for it. People are excited to see this movie. It still hasn't released over in the UK yet and uh, Europe as a whole. I can't wait till it releases over there. It's going to pull in so much money and so much bank because of word of mouth alone. This movie is just going everywhere. And when you look at it on Rotten Tomatoes even, it's sitting at a fresh rating by both critics and fans. This is a phenomenal movie. This is goes to show you again, make a movie for fans. Fans will come out and support it in force. But on top of that, you, I, I wanna go back here real quick. A lot of these movies throughout the, this week aren't gonna make money. Uh, well, they're not going to make that much money. But when you look at the movies right now, again, Godzilla sits at $15 million is how much it costs to make this movie. It is broken even, making profit right now. And when you come over here, there was only one big budget movie in 2023 that actually made a profit. A small profit, but that was Guardians of the Galaxy. That was the only movie in 2023 worth over $200 million that actually made a profit. 
everything else didn't make a profit. And when it comes to the movies that did make a profit, that were big box office uh, bo- uh, extravaganzas and stuff, they were Barbie. They were the Super Mario Bros. They were Five Nights at Freddy's and Oppenheimer. All of these movies, including Godzilla, have been nothing but fanfare, have been nothing but good storytelling, except for Barbie. Barbie, Barbie's solely fanfare. It knew who its audience was and it marketed to its audience and also profited off of the social media aspect along with Oppenheimer. But then these movies were also well-received, given a bunch of praise, and made a buttload of money. Oppenheimer had no reason to make this much money, but it did. You come over here to Five Nights at Freddy's. Five Nights at Freddy's had no reason to make this much money, but guess what? When you work on small budgets, you make money. When you do work on small budgets, actually care for your craft, actually put out a good product, fans will receive it, fans will go out and watch it, and fans will continue to watch it. That's why freaking Five Nights at Freddy's here, this is massive. This is Oh, this is over 10 times its budget right now and how much money it made worldwide. If you look at Super Mario Bros, Super Mario Bros was made for about $150 million alone. It's made buttload of money. Barbie, a similar pro- uh, budget actually, buttload of money. I don't remember how much Oppenheimer uh, was for its budget. I think it was a relatively small budget, all things considered. Everything was done practical, buttload of money. Make movies for fans. People will come out, people will respond, and people will give you what you want. Godzilla Minus One is a phenomenal movie of the year. It is breaking box office records. It is doing things that nobody actually thought was possible, and I am so happy for it. If you haven't gotten to see it, I uh, with the with its it being extended in the theaters, go out to see it. It might be subtitled, guys, but legitimately, this is a phenomenal movie, and I wanted to keep rolling. It looks like the only movie that it actually might have competition for is Aquaman 2, and that's not coming out until the end of the year. So, yeah, this is going to be funny. This is so beautiful, so wonderful, and Japan knows how to make a movie and destroy Hollywood. But I'm going to leave it there, guys. Let me get you guys' thoughts on all this down in the comments below. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. Share it out, friends. Hit that subscribe button. Hit that notification bell for every time I put out a new video and go live, guys. And I'll see you on the next one. Bye for now. What's going on, guys? Listen, it's Christmas season coming up, and you know what makes great gifts? That's right, Coffee Brand Coffee. Coffee Brand Coffee makes wonderful gifts, and guess what? They don't just have great coffees, teas, and cocos. They also got gear, they got K-cups, and also they got wonderful gift boxes. Gift boxes that include all sorts of wonderful gifts great goodies you got chocolate covered coffee beans raspberry yogurt pretzel twists sea salt milk chocolates caramel you got chocolate covered coffee beans peppermint hot cocoa spicy and sweet treat mixes kettle corn pop premium vacuum travel tumblers and all sorts of wonderful great stuff that you can get at coffee brand coffee and these make great christmas gifts so guys please check out coffeebrandcoffee.com and use promo code back taco at checkout to get 10% off your purchase. That's coffeebrandcoffee.com promo code back taco.